Hey everyone, um, so this is sort of in replacement of my day 8 video, um, so I was keeping obviously doing a, keeping a vlog of each day um, on the Costa Breaks tour, because um, I wanted to show people sort of my experience while I was on the tour and what we sort of got up to, um, I'm no I'm no vlogger, so um, it was generally just me walking around with a camera and uh, making remarks every now and again about what I liked and what I didn't and uh, all that sort of stuff. There was barely anything I didn't like on that trip. Um, as far as rides go, the whole trip was incredible. Um, definitely be going back next year, that's for sure. Um, made some really good friends on that trip as well. Um, but I, I thought I'd give you sort of an overview, really, of my um, of my overall like impressions and that of the whole thing um, and what happened. So, like um, as you might have seen, if you've watched the videos like one to seven, um, you'll see that uh, in the descriptions I sort of give a little brief overview of what each day um what what occurred on each day and um what we sort of were doing and you know what hotels we were checking into and checking out of and so on you know and that also appears in the videos when we check out of hotel check in and so on just to give you little snippets of what was going on um but yeah day day one basically um so i've i've known marcus for many years now so as soon as i heard he was um he was starting up this coaster breaks company i was like okay i need to hear more and it was um as soon as he started talking about it i was really excited for it because i'm not a coaster enthusiast um but i do like my theme parks um so you know we've generally we've stuck to we're always going to florida quite often um in the past until the um we haven't been for a quite a few years now um so when i heard about this i was like you know what this sounds awesome um we need to get on it so we did we um we went and uh, booked up with marcus um, we knew we'd be meeting um, sort of other random people going on the same tour of us, and that was exciting as well to you know sort of meet other people and make some friends and um, go in the parks in bigger groups because it's always it's it's always seemed quite interesting to me to meet other people and go around these theme parks with other people. Um, so um, we were really looking forward to all that. So yeah, day day one basically started out with um, us heading over to the Euro Tunnel. Uh, um, had some had a laugh on the way. You know, Marcus picked up in his nice new. Uh, Ford Torneo vehicle which was like really comfortable sitting it was nice I was, I was expecting to be a little bit cramped in that vehicle you know when he turned up and when we got in I was like wow there's a lot of space in this vehicle you know it's not just nine people crushed into a little vehicle um it's it's a really nice spacious vehicle to travel around in it's perfect um so yeah as soon as I got in that I was like okay this is nice we're gonna be spending our trip in this this is awesome um traveled over to the Euro Tunnel um picked up one of the other guests on the way from Ashford Station um, which is awesome, you know, the fact that um, we, we picked up another guest on the way was cool, we got to know that guest in the car, um, and his name is Dan, um, all right Dan, um, so yeah, we picked up Dan, uh, we, us three, we headed over to, uh, on the Euro Tunnel, um, and made our way over to, in the end, we made our way to Belgium, uh, to meet the rest of the guests, basically, at the first hotel, um, we had all of the guests meet at the hotel, uh, the first guy, that, the first guy we met was Joe there, and he was waiting for us at the hotel as we got there and we had the rest of the guests meet in the evening and that was that was how the first day sort of plan you know turned out we we all met at one place um for the in the hotel we all had some drinks we got to know each other we had some food in the evenings and then we sort of all got some uh got some shut eye for the next day for our first park so everyone was really everyone was really psyched for the first day and um marcus was giving us a big overview of what the holiday was um we, we already knew from the you know from the plan that had gone out in the emails you know the amount of information we got from marcus beforehand was incredible um and that includes obviously in these difficult times of uh covid and all the forms you have to fill out at the moment um marcus just, just did an awesome job of providing all the information that we needed to help fill out those forms um it was so easy to fill out those forms with marcus's information um yeah you couldn't re there was i think we had a couple of questions um and i think you know um other than that it was it was it was so simple that the whole thing was flawless um but i'm skipping ahead anyway so so yeah marcus did an incredible job before we even got on the trip of providing so much, all that information um and then yeah day one we we uh, hit up the first park and that was when uh we knew like marcus had these you know his game plan he had the he had the plans at for every park. I mean, he knows those parks at like the back of his hand. He really does. Um, so we we went to our first park. 
um, markers knew exactly where to go first of all to make sure we got on sort of the, the rides that generally will be a lot busier and later on in the day and we'll go to those first and so on and you know he knew exactly where to go so we uh, made the most of our days you know so um we we felt i felt very confident on the first day like you know i, I was confident anyway i know i know marcus um he he just he knows everything about roller coasters and theme parks and he's traveled a lot so that's why you know i could i could trust marcus to do an awesome job at this and he did um so we um yeah the first day of the park was incredible we all we're obviously still getting to know each other everyone's coming out of their shells a bit more we're all having a good laugh together and that and just like one of these ho holiday tours should be you know we all we all had a good laugh um we got on really well to, as a group um we had good fun we all enjoyed the rides together and um we all got wet on the on the uh log flumes together except for me who uh wore his, wore his waterproofs um because <laughs> i'm a i'm a little pussy um but yeah, no, we had great fun. Um, you'll see that on the vlogs. You know, we had some good fun. We had some good times and uh, some good laughs and that. Um, but yeah, that day one was incredible. And I thought, okay, well, we got we got we got eight days. You know, seven parks over eight days. You know, and this is day one. I was like, wow, we we did a lot in day one. So I thought oh, day two was going to be awesome. And it was. You know, day we day two came. We were at the next park. Day three, day four, and we had we had seven days of that. So we um we had all the different parks. So um, we went to, we started at, yeah, Wallaby, Belgium. We went on to Fantasialand, incredible park, uh, my favourite park on the trip. We then went to to uh, Movie Park, Germany. And then um, that was a good day. We had a good fun there. That was my, my least favourite park on the trip, but we all had an awesome laugh there. There was, there was a few good rides there. Um, it was a really rainy day that day as well, but didn't didn't bother us we all had good laugh we all had fun um we then went on to toverland incredible park love that park to pieces um we went had wallaby holland which was the halloween fright night um so we we're there all day we we're there from sort of i think around 10 ish till 11 in the evening um before then moving on to our next hotel um that was an awesome day as well so and when night came around we got to ride the night rides which was awesome. We did a um, one of these scare mazes. Good fun. Uh, everything in the park was lit up and themed. You had lasers all over the place. You had the the uh, mascot come out, the clown, which was awesome. You'll see that in the video. In um, in the uh, what was it day? Was that day five? Day six? I think so. Um, but you'll see it in the video for the Wallaby Holland video I'd done. Um, that was an awesome day. And then we had Efteling and last day which i don't know the video for unfortunately i got on well so i sort of pulled myself away from from everyone for the day i wanted everyone to have a good time and i don't want to drag anyone down so i sort of stayed back and um stayed elsewhere for the day and let everyone go around the park while i just rested up so i missed out on uh props of land um which i need to go back to do um i said to marcus i definitely need to go back there so i'm going to try and go back with him one weekend and get that one done um but yeah, we had we had all those parks. I mean, after like I said, after day one, day one was incredible. And I was like, wow, that was we did so much. So yeah, looking forward to day two. Um, so yeah, day two we went over to uh, Fantasia Land. That park was incredible. There was something to look at everywhere you went around that park. Uh, it was stunning. Um, we had a we had several goes on different rides. Um, you know, we got a few re rides in. Um, it was a quite a busy day there at that day actually on Fantasia Land, but we still had some really good queue times. Um, to be honest, none of us were really bothered about the the actual queue times. You know, even if they were long, we were all together, we're all having a laugh, we we're having a good time. So we had to, you know we had things to talk about and had a had a, had a mess around. We we're in the queues together and stuff and chatting and stuff. So it didn't really bother us. The fact that we were just there was incredible. You know, we were grateful that uh, we were on a holiday, we were on a break, and um, on a coaster break. And uh, yeah, we just had an awesome time. Um, but yeah, Fantasia Land. As soon as we went to that steampunk area and we saw Fly, I was like, "This is incredible." I've seen it on videos, but you don't realise how compact that area is when you get there until you see it for your own eyes, and you think, "Wow!" And they put that ride Fly in there, and it's just incredible. Um, second, I think that was my second favourite coast on the trip. Actually, first one is Condar, at Wallaby, Belgium. That was my favourite coast of the trip for me. Um, fly was my second um but yeah fantasia land was just like it was really pretty park there was something to look at the theme the theming in that park was incredible loved it um would happily go back there 
Um, day three, we went to um, Movie Park Germany, and we had a we had a very rainy day that day, um, sort of on and off throughout the day until and um, we had some real rain day, but didn't stop. We had good fun, didn't stop us. We had a laugh. Um, we got on a lot of rides there. It was quite a quiet day there. Um, we went on Star Trek, Star Trek, Operation Enterprise, maybe three or four times. I know we got on it twice at the end because they were, we got on as nearly the last riders of the day on that one, and we got to do it again twice in a row. We got to stay on, so that was cool. <clears throat> um, and there's some rides we saw someone being sick, uh, coming off the uh, the spinning hat thing, the top hat thing, whatever it's called. Um, so that was, <laughs> that was funny, although I felt sorry for her. Um, no, I didn't. Um, but yeah, no, we had an awesome day. Um, didn't matter if it was raining, you know, rain or shine, we all had a good laugh. Um, the Tova, we went to Toverland the day after that. Toverland was awesome. Um, it was nice because we'd had a really busy few days. So Toverland was um, a quite a bit of a quieter day um, in the park. It was there was a lot of like, um, I said, I think Marcus said that it's not nowhere near as busy as what it usually would be because we were, we turned up there and the car park for the sort of the school buses and stuff was empty. Um, so yeah, usually you get a lot of, um, I think you get a lot of schools turn up there and they take the children there to go on all the rides and stuff. And there's a massive indoor play area for kids and, and adults. I mean, we took, you know, we would, we didn't get to take over in the evening, in the later part of the evening when hopefully all the children are supposed to go home and we get, you know, get free run of the area. But, um, we, uh, we did go on some of the, we get win of some incredible flat rides outside. Um, and, uh. We went on a fun house inside the bobsled and stuff, and we had some real, really good laugh in there. And it was just fun, just just walking around the area is just really cool. You could see how they'd changed it over the years, and adapted. Um, so yeah, that was a really that was a really nice park to go on. We got to go on um, Phoenix there, the roller coaster as well, which is incredible. Loved that ride. That was really good. Um, we went on that a few times, I think at least twice, maybe three times. I think it was twice though, definitely, because um, I know because I grayed out a couple of times nearly. Um, yeah, I do suffer from graying out on those rides. Some people don't feel it as much, um, but yeah, I do. I certainly felt that G-force on that one. Um, but no, it was an awesome day. We got to relax a bit more in that park. We walked around a little slower that day, and you know, just got to take in the sights and that as we went around and had a laugh. Um, day the day after that, we had um, we had yeah the Wallaby Holland, um, incredible day there we decided that um marcus marcus came up with the idea um there was they do a fast pass so they do a silver or gold um we all ended up events we all decided on we wanted to do a gold so the gold fast pass was the best thing we could have done for that day it was a it was a really busy day in there as well and obviously the halloween it was the first halloween night i believe there so the first day was the first late opening night so it was over to 11 so we decided you know what we get our money's worth out of these gold passes so everyone we went we went for the gold passes um, we were on the rides within, as soon as we come off that ride, Marcus could check in basically for all of us and we were back on the ride within a couple of minutes, if that. Um, I think the longest we waited at one point was like, I don't know, four, four minutes, three minutes, four minutes to get on, uh, back on to um, Untamed. Got my cap there, look. Untamed cap. Love that ride. Um, I think we went on, we went on at least five, six times, five times, six times, yeah. Some of us went on more. Um, but throughout the day we got some day rides we got some night rides um, we got to experience like the back the front the middle you know we got to choose and that's the good thing with the pass as well the gold passes we got to we got to get first dibs on which seats we want to go in so we would all as a group decide oh okay right you've done the front so now you can go to the back and so on we could switch it around but we got priority over the other people queuing up as well with the gold passes so we got first pick of the seats before then they let on other people so it was well worth getting those those gold passes um yeah, good shout, Marcus. Very really good shout. Um, recommend anyone doing that. It's worth the money. I think it was like 70, 70 euros, 75 euros. It's about 50 pounds odd. 50, yeah, about 50 pound each, something like that. Um, so yeah, it was well worth the money. We got the money's worth out of the day. We got to go on rides over and over again when we wanted to. Um, they had the they had the Halloween theme in around the park, um, which was cool. They had the mascot come out in the evening. And we saw him a few. We saw him at least twice. The mascot going around in his car, getting driven around. Um, we had all the scare actors coming out. Um, all the lighting and laser beams shooting out. Um, we went into the uh, special toilet <laughs> at Wallaby Holland. Uh, they got this uh, toilet where you the, the 
both the male and female they've got this button on the wall you press the button and then sort of suddenly sort of like a techno sort of music comes on like this disco -y, techno -y stuff comes on all the lights start flashing in the toilet people wonder what the hell's going on uh, that was a laugh that was good fun um, we got to have a few beers that day as well at the park, so that yeah, made it even more fun for us. Um, just having a few beers and a laugh and getting on the rides. Um, and yeah, the evening came, we went into the scare maze. We got to choose some, uh, we all just sat together and decided what scare maze we were going to do. So we did a scare maze together as a group, which was cool. I had a good laugh on that. Um, then we got some night rides in, um, four riders, um, four, four riders, four, four of the guests. Um, so... Dan and Matt did the skydive, and Shelley and Chloe did the skydive. I didn't. I'm not a massive fan of heights, um, especially when you're suspended by a cable and then free falling through the air uh, from 200 plus feet. Um, not for me. I, do, I love drop towers and stuff like that, but yeah, the thought of just being on a cable and that just scared the crap out of me. Um, but yeah, they did it really brave. They had a good laugh. We've got that on video. You'll see that on the video as well. That was really funny to watch and. Uh, I had an awesome time with that, so that was good. Um, and then the, what was it after that? So we had the day seven at Efteling. Um, I got started getting a bit unwell on Efteling, unfortunately, so um, I didn't take it in as much as I wanted to. And that's why the video for Efteling is a lot shorter than all the other videos I've done. Um, but the from what I did see when I was going in the park, um, it was, yeah, it was really, really, pretty park it reminded me very much of like sort of a disney park in ways um there's some really cool rides there and um some nice theming going on at that park as well um ride times it was a really wet day it was a really wet day that day um i did go back a little bit earlier and relax somewhere for the last few hours of the day just relaxed on my own somewhere to again let everyone else just get on with what they wanted to do and not look miserable around everyone you know i wanted to get out of that and let everyone enjoy themselves and i just sat down and had a little rest um and i remember sitting there one point and it was torrential rain or so i was like wow and it was a it was a really wet day but again everyone had a laugh everyone came back we got drenched in the morning and the after and early afternoon um we we're queuing in the rain but um it was part of it it's part of the day we we're all together having a good laugh um but Efteling had some really nice rides there as well. Um, there was a, well, I can't remember what the ride was called. Um, I'll, I'll put it. Um, I put a little piece of text over the screen when I put, do the video up. But um, it was like an anima, There was animatronics all in there, and it was incredible. Um, so you, it was a nice, relaxing sit-down ride, and um, you you go around basing all the animatronics inside. It was just it was just an incredible ride. Um, I rem it, it was just stunning to watch and just sit there and relax. And it was a nice, relaxing ride. Um, <clears throat> I didn't get a video of that one, unfortunately, but I, I guess it ruins the magic a bit, but you can see it. You'll find it on YouTube if you go and type in the ride. Um, um, the coaster's there. We went on a coaster um, that was a bit like, um, is it Shikra in Florida? Not as tall, but it holds you, um, it, it suspends you over the edge before you drop. Um, that was a really cool ride. And the theming around that was awesome. They had like these massive cogs up top, like, or was it cogs or wheels? Can't remember now. I've got so, it's on the video. But you see everything turning, and it's all turning as the coaster's going over the edge and stuff. So it's all like like linked up and in in sync. Um, so they did a really good job of all that sort of stuff. Um, I need to go back to Efteling to appreciate it more. And um, obviously Plopsaland I missed. So day eight was Plopsaland. Um, I missed that completely. Uh, my wife got to go in. She had a really good time in there, and everyone everyone else came back and they had a really good time. Plopsaland. Um, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Plopsaland. Plopsaland. Um, Everyone had a really good time. Um, obviously, missed out on. Um, I've read it. A ride to happiness. I've seen the videos of it. It looked awesome. I was gutted. I missed it. So yeah, I need to go back on a weekend and have another ride on it. Um, but yeah, the one thing I haven't talked about constantly each day was that obviously Marcus, our tour guide. Um, this whole trip, we didn't we didn't have to worry about anything. Like we. We didn't have to worry about checking into the hotels. You know, Marcus had it all in hand. The only thing we had to do was present our passports when we got there. You have to prevent... At the moment, we had to provide our um, COVID passes each time we checked in somewhere as well to a hotel and when you go into a theme park. So um, you need to be organised with that sort of stuff on your phone. You know, have your have your vaccination card on your phone or your app ready. Um, we, we had to do a COVID test to get into the Netherlands. Again, Marcus had it all planned. There was one in one of the theme park car park areas. Where you pay them and they do the test for you and you get your results in like 15 minutes 
Um, Marcus had it all planned out for us. We we didn't have to do anything. We he travelled us back and forth to the to the hotels. He checked us in and helped us get into the hotels. He helped everyone with their forms if they did need any help with their forms, but most of us didn't because he provided so much information that it was pretty easy to do most of those forms. Um, he had our breakfast covered for us each morning in the hotels. Um, in the evenings, we'd come back, we'd all have a drink and have some food together a lot of the evenings and have a laugh together and, you know, just sit down and relax. Um, on the evenings where we weren't back too late, um, we had we had food on the way back sometimes. So if it wasn't at the hotel, you know, we'd stop over services and get a, get some takeaway food or sit down and have a Mackey D's. Um, we all, you know, we just, he just had everything in hand. Um, it was a good laugh. It was, we had some good banter going on in the vehicle. Um, so everyone was get everyone was having a really good fun time. Um, the f everything was just looked after for us. We didn't have to do anything, and that's what um, that's what was nice. We didn't. It was all taken out of our hands. We didn't have to worry. Um, and when we got to the parks again, we knew that Marcus had everything in hand. He knew everything about everything. He knew where the nearest toilet was. He knew where the nearest food bar was for whatever food you wanted. He he knew everything about the parks. He knew everything about all the rides. You could ask Marcus anything and he'd be able to tell you. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I can't say much more than that, really. It was an incredible it was an incredible tour. We'll be going back again next year on the next tour. Um, we made some great friends on that tour as well. So we were, we we're going to try and to meet up with those people again as well and go on some other trips together. If you're thinking about, if you're on the edge about booking something or, you know, keep an eye out because there's obviously, the, I don't think there's any tours up at the moment because um, he's, he's still sorting out next year but they will go up so yeah go and like the facebook page um go and go and check out the website and check out my videos as well my previous videos one to seven to see uh see what what we got up to on those days and see the theme parks we went on for this tour obviously next year's tour is going to be potentially completely different or slightly different um so it'll be different parks again so that's why i'm looking forward to next year i've done this year's tour so i'd like to do next year's one and uh see different parks as well as well as trying to go back and do Efteling in a weekend and Plopsaland. Um, I'll be giving you a shout, Marcus, about that and uh, sort something out. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be going back. Um, it was great having all that. It was effortless. It was effortless. And we got, obviously, on the way back, everyone got taken back in the vehicle. Um, on the last day, we got taken back over on the Eurotunnel. Um, Eurotunnel was late. Um, Marcus didn't flap, he just sorted it out, we were just, you know, we had no, there was no choice, we, <gasps> excuse me, we had to all wait and just um, deal with it, Marcus was, he must have been exhausted, he drove us around everywhere, he drove us from, in the late in the evenings, you know, 11 o'clock we left the Holland Park, Wallaby Holland, and we're getting into our hotel at like half past 12, quarter to one in the morning, and he's checking us all in, next day we've got to be up at 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, to get off to the next park you know he's having to do all this driving um whereas we we all just as guests just get to relax um so you don't realize that your tour guide be kind to your tour guide he's he's marcus is incredible he's got patience of steel um what he did in that trip for everyone was you know incredible um yeah um that's maybe maybe it's a perfect time to do some points you know um yeah so uh look after your tour guide you know i mean yeah he he's He's your tour guide. Um, you've paid money to go on a holiday and a trip, but he's not just any ordinary tour guide. He's not someone who just drives you to a place, says, right, meet back here at six or whatever. He's he's he quickly becomes your friend. Um, he'll he'll look out for you. He'll look. He's got your best interests at heart for the holiday to make sure you get the best out of it. Um, he's he's a good laugh. We can you know the thing on our tour is we had a bunch of people who, who we knew we could all get on well with each other and had a good laugh and that so that was great and Marcus is in, involved in that throughout all the, all day long. It's just like going around with, in that tour, it was like going around with nine friends, not eight friends and a tour guide. You know, he's 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 part of it. Um, he's it's incredible. So um, yeah, look out for him. You know, buy him a drink here and there. You know, if you're walking around the parks or whatever. You know, just you know, you know. I'm not saying you have to, but you know, it'll become your friend fast. So uh, do what you do for friends. Um, when it comes to the other group members on tours and stuff, I'd say like I can. I mean, we were we were really good on our tour. Everyone was really respectable of each other. Um, we the one the things I think when I come back from that trip though is that things that could occur on these sorts of tours um, from certain people maybe and like you need to be con you need to be considerate basically of other people on these tours. So it's not just you on this tour. It's not just 
you doing what you want to do and so on you know so um be respectful of that you know it's it's a group activity it's not you're not going to be alone with a tour guide taking you to a park and you doing what you want you know it's a group activity so you're there of a group um marcus will do what he can and the best he can for you to all get the most out of your days as a group um if you want to go off on your own that's fine you can do and stuff um but it's better to stay with marcus he knows what he's doing around those tours and it's fun it's fun staying in a group you know you have such a much you have such a good laugh of each other um so that's that's part of it really being in that group and having fun um but yeah be considerate to one another um obviously like i said we didn't have any problem problems on our trip but I can only imagine you get someone on that tour when you're in a confined space on a like a nine seater vehicle. Although it was spacious, you're still in an enclosed space. So I can only imagine if you had someone on the tour maybe who doesn't doesn't wash and shower and stuff each day. Um, it's it's a it's a long day each day. You're doing you're doing at least sort of we're averaging out at least ten miles a day. Some days we're doing eleven, twelve miles. I think there's one day we did about thirteen miles, and that was probably the Halloween evening and day uh, at Wallaby Holland. But you're doing a lot of walking around. You're gonna sweat. Um, you're gonna smell. You know, to wash. Just, just have a wash each night, each morning before you get out for breakfast, before you start the day off. Because no one wants to be stuck in a vehicle with people who stink. And luckily, everyone on our tour was clean and it was perfect. We were all good. We were all washed and you know we didn't have anything like that. So that was perfect. Um, but yeah, it's something to consider. You know, like um, if if you think this is some sort of um backpacking trip where you take a small backpack and no no barely any clothes and so on it's it's not take what you need for this trip so you can change into fresh clothes and stuff each day um while we're talking about this you know pointers to things to take obviously make sure you take some eu plugs with you to charge your appliances and stuff like that um any home comforts you like to take with you and that um personally i took a in my suitcase i always do i take a glass from the kitchen wrap it up in a towel and take a glass so i've got a nice big glass to drink out of in the evenings in hotels you do get glasses in there but they're all tiny i just like drinking out of my own glass um weird um but think of all your home comforts that you can fit in a suitcase with you um and yeah just be prepared um shavers um spare pants spare socks spare boxer shorts spare trousers spare t-shirts you know all the others just prepare and the one thing i did as well was take waterproofs um I am someone who goes around parks um, in like if I go around in Florida, I'm not so bothered about getting wet when I go because the temperatures and humidity is ridiculous. You're going to drive fast, but knowing that I was going to the to Europe, and it would be colder there, I went out and brought myself some waterproof trousers and waterproof um, coat, and I could wear those all day long. I didn't have to keep. I did at the start take them on and off when I was going on water rides, and it was just too much of a faff. So in the end, I just started wearing them to the last few parks. Because they were light and simple, and they kept me dry. I was the one coming off those boat rides and, and the rapids, like near enough dry. I know it's part of the fun usually, but in the winter time, I didn't want to get wet. That's just me, my personal, just just personal preference. I didn't want to get drenched. So um, yeah, waterproofs are really good to take with you. They're small. You can take backpacks around those parks as well. They're really well catered for in the EU. Like um, you know, you can you can take a bag with you and just leave it at the side or they'll have boxes that open up or like electronically and that on the ride so that's really cool you put them in the box and they shut down and close the lid till you come off the ride again um yeah um going back to the consideration thing you know being polite to the other guests as well and that you will make friends on these tours um as long as you just behave um we didn't again we didn't have any problems on our tour we had a lovely group of people we all got on really well um lots of talking going on lots of laughter and stuff and um yeah we had a really good time no one was rude to each other there was no arguments on that tour you know between people I mean, we were all adults at the end of the day um it's you know it's, it wasn't like children going on a tour sort of thing it was it was a group of adults we all had a good laugh um and yeah it's about just re just respect one another as well you know think about you know we we could we we had the similar sense of humor so we could get away with some of the stuff we were saying you know we were having a good laugh and that and um, but I guess it's known your surroundings and people who you are and that um, just just behave basically. Don't put um, don't put the rest of the guests in any sort of um, into into any sort of incident or whatever you know that um, is un you know that your tour guide then needs to resolve. You know, be just behave on the tour. Um, the last thing you want to do is get arrested in Europe or something for doing something silly. So you know, just behave on your trips. Um, um, yeah, just yeah, just being aware of your surroundings and stuff. Um, um but yeah there's there's not much to it i mean if you're if you're someone who you know you need to be able to 
get on with people and deal with people because you are on a tour so um as long as you get on with people well and stuff then you won't have any problems on this trip but um you know you need to make it's not just your memories that you're making it's everyone else's memories as well so don't you know be good on these trips don't ruin it for anyone else you know just keep thinking being considerate of everyone everyone's on a holiday they're on a break they're not there to um to have a miserable time you know so keep it happy keep it jolly don't try to be negative you know just enjoy the time it's an incredible trip it's an incredible trip um and this was just the first tour you know so i mean this is one tour next year there'll be a completely different tour i'm sure um which will be different parks different locations i assume um and i'll be talking to marcus again about that next year seeing what he's got plans um once that all starts happening because yeah we can't wait to go back um but yeah we had an incredible time overall and um we had a good group we got really lucky on this tour we had a really good group um so yeah we we didn't have any issues on the tour really it was it was it was good it ran smoothly we all we all got to do what we wanted to do and that and and as a group as well we we just had a really good laugh that was the main thing this holiday we took away from is that we all had a really good laugh together and um made it made it so much more comfortable um i can only imagine if i got stuck on the tour with someone who was just an absolute nightmare then um yeah it would have i mean it would have been a different experience altogether um and that's why i'm putting this video out here because i want people to watch this video and you need to you need to consider before you go on one of these trips are you someone who gets on well with people and um in, in larger groups and stuff you know um just make sure you behave basically and have a laugh and don't bring the rest of the group down and just have a laugh because we did we had an incredible time and um yeah we've got memories that will last a lifetime and uh many more to come i'm sure from these tours so we'll be back don't uh don't worry about that we'll definitely be back um but yeah if anyone's got any questions that you know leave comments down below in the uh in the uh, comment section and um anyone who's thinking about doing one of these tours and is on the fence i mean go for it it's incredible and it's it's incredible value for money um for what you get in those in these tours i mean you're getting your you're getting your travel around to each park you're getting your park tickets included you're getting a lovely hotel and it's not just some cheap and cheerful hotel marcus put effort into choosing these hotels so you get some really nice hotels you get your breakfast included each day um you're getting marcus as a tour guide as well he knows these parks like the back of his hands and he's um a massive like a wealth of information you know he's incredible um and you're taking the hassle out of doing all the driving and all, and all this stuff yourself as well there's nothing to worry about you just have marcus marcus deals with it all for you pretty much except for checking into hotels like i said at the start of this video i think um you just have to hand over a passport and some um some uh at the moment obviously some covid pass details but and fill in the form but other than that you know it's all in hand so yeah such a simple way to travel um and the best way to go around theme parks with a group of people so yeah yeah um, I, I hope you liked all these videos anyway like i said there's day one to seven's already up um, day eight unfortunately didn't happen for me because I didn't feel well um, I stepped aside and wanted the rest of the group to still have fun and enjoy themselves so I stepped away and just had a rest up for the day so I'll be back to Plopsaland at some point next year hopefully to Ch check that out because everyone, everyone had an awesome day there um, and yeah I'm going to finish this video on that um, you know if you're, if you're on the fence about it don't just do it it's incredible you will not regret going on those tours um, and uh, yeah, let, let me know if you do. Let me know if you do book up one of those tours and go and follow his Facebook page as well, which is in my link above, in my link below. Sorry, in the um, in the description section, I've got his uh, website there and his Facebook links. So go and check him out. Give him a like and follow, and you'll keep up to date with his uh, his latest tours when they start coming up on the website. Yeah, well, cheers for watching, guys.